Hi guys, it's the Mill Tube here and today we are back with the championship predictions. This game week is game week 24, so let's jump straight into it. So, starting off at Deepdale, we have Preston versus Leeds and unfortunately for Preston, their bad form and luck does continue. They lost 2-1 away at Swansea in the last minute and for Leeds, of course, they shook the whole division up, let's be honest, being second place Ipswich. At home, 4-0. Definitely give Ipswich the humbling they deserve, let's be honest. But anyway, my prediction for this game, I really don't see Leeds dropping points against a no-confidence side in Preston. So I'm going to go for a scoreline of Preston 0, Leeds United 3. Over to the den, we have Millwall versus QPR. Big, big game here. You know, if we get the three points, we go six points clear off relegation and if QPR beat us then we go of course level on points with them in 20 seconds so yeah as I've already said really really big game here we are coming off a really rubbish performance against Stoke on Saturday the 0-0 draw we just had absolutely no idea what to do going forward really just brain dead on attack and I know Stoke are also not Stoke sorry I know QPR are on Quite poor form of late so I see nothing separating the two sides nil nil draw next up we have Cardiff versus Plymouth and of course Cardiff did do us a big favour by just beating Sheffield Wednesday away two goals to one and Plymouth are coming off the big 3-3 draw against Birmingham at home of course their first game since their manager Schumacher left them fun fact Plymouth have not won an away game this year and surely that can't go on for much longer. So don't ask me why, but I've got a funny feeling they're going to get a result on Boxing Day. Cardiff nil, Plymouth 1. Over to the CBS, we have Coventry versus Sheffield Wednesday. And like I just mentioned, Sheffield Wednesday are coming off some late heartbreak. And for Coventry, I've got to say, I'm very chuffed with my Sunderland v Coventry prediction. I predicted Coventry to go over to the Stadium of Light and win 2-0. And they ended up winning 3-0. So I was very happy with my prediction. Nearly got it spot on. But anyway, over to this game. I'll be honest, I don't see Sheffield Wednesday picking up any points here. So I'm going to go for a scoreline of Coventry 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Next up, we have Huddersfield versus Blackburn. And again, very happy with my prediction with the Blackburn game. Got that one spot on this time. So get it in there. Very happy with that one. Again, like Millwall and QPR, these are two sides that are struggling and like that Millwall v QPR game, I do see nothing separating the sides. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Now for Hull versus Sunderland. And yeah, like I said in my last prediction video, I do think Sunderland are going to have the opposite of a new manager bounce. And looking at the result the other day against Coventry, I could be proven right. And although Hull are coming off a loss, themselves I think they'll put things right on the weekend not the weekend sorry on Boxing Day at home so I'm going to go for a scoreline of Hull City 2 Sunderland 1. Over to the New York Stadium we have Rotherham versus Middlesbrough and like the last time I predicted Rotherham I don't think this one needs much explaining Rotherham have lost their last three games and Borough have won their last three games Rotherham nil, Borough 2. Next up, we have Southampton versus Swansea. And although Swansea are picking up a few good results of late, I do think Southampton will have enough quality to beat them. To be fair, they are doing really well, the Saints, ain't they? So I'm going to go for a scoreline of Southampton 3, Swansea 1. Can Southampton nick an automatic spot over Leeds and Ipswich? Let me know in the comments because I think they can. Now for Watford versus Bristol City. You know what? This is actually going to be a really competitive game. These are two sides that are on good form. Both won back-to-back -back games. To be fair, I do see there being goals in this game. So I'm going to go for a scoreline of Watford 2, Bristol City 2. Moving on to another really big game 
to be fair, we have West Brom versus Norwich. These are two sides that are going for promotion and two sides that, let's be honest, are probably too big for the championship. West Brom are currently fifth, but their form of late has not been too good whatsoever. And Norwich are eighth and their form has been very good of late. So a win for Norwich would see them leapfrog West Brom. My prediction for this game, I'm not sure to be honest, it's going to be tight, but you know what, I'm actually going to back the away side for the win here, so I'm going to go for a scoreline of West Brom 1, Norwich 2. Over to St Andrews, we have Birmingham versus Stoke, and this is what I like to call a mid-off, just two woeful sides going at it. Unfortunately, I watched Stoke for a full 90 minutes on Saturday, and they were honestly dreadful. And I know Birmingham have also been dreadful of late. So I think this just screams of a cold, wet, windy, miserable nil-nil draw. Finally, we have Ipswich versus Leicester. Definitely the biggest game of this game week. The top two going at it. And of course, like I mentioned earlier in the video, Ipswich probably got the humbling they deserved. They got thumped 4 nil away at Leeds and of course Leicester are just showing no signs of slowing down. They've won their last five games in a row. <sighs> My scoreline for this game, I'm going to go for a scoreline of Ipswich 1, Leicester 3. I do see Ipswich falling out of the top two very soon. Well there you go, they were my Boxing Day predictions. Please do leave your predictions down in the comments below and before I go, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas, so I'll see you all on Boxing Day against QPR. Come you Lions!